Hi, I'm Paul from Test Data Services, and I'm now going to step through uh, simple MFA calls so that you can automate the time based token uh, step, which often makes automation very difficult. So, you will have all seen this type of prompt that comes up occasionally enter a verification code, a time based one. The Google Authenticator one is pretty much the same as the Microsoft one. So if we have that situation, all it takes is two simple calls to testdataservices.com.au to be able to save the secret or initiate the process and then fetch a token whenever you need one. So you can automate it really easily. I'll show you that right now. I'm going to fetch a random secret. Normally your application will give you this sort of a secret. This is a secret here. Now if I take that secret and I put it into an, uh, a Google Authenticator type app on my desktop like this one now I've put the code they call it a code here and next I will grab a, a random identity so in this case I've just grabbed Ashley Bowman I'm going to copy the email address of Ashley and I'm going to put that into the username just so it's easier to see test data services save now this is saying that the Google Authenticator code is 481984 which is nice now the first MFA call is to save that secret and the next one is to retrieve 481984 which is great and if you notice we're now at 061587 and 061587 what this does is it shows you the next the, this token and the next token and how many seconds there are remaining so if I was to uh, hit refresh it again We'll see now we've got 11 seconds to go, uh, 8 seconds to go, and we're still on 061587. If I keep on refreshing this, then we'll see it change at the same time. There we go. 662533, 662533, with 29.69 seconds. So you would have seen that happened at the same time. So just to summarize, we want to do two API calls. The first is to save the secret. So we're putting the secret in, which is that secret we fetched in that first step, an email address, which was Ashley Bowman, and a subscription key. Now this is saved by subscription key. So if you want, you can have as many tokens for a particular user ID as you like. They can all be different for different environments, for example. Uh, just make sure that you create a number of subscription keys. Look in the earlier videos to see how to do that. It's very easy and you can have as many subscription keys as you like and then to fetch a token all you do is you put that same email address in that same subscription key and every time you do it you'll get the current code and the next code i hope this simplifies your test automation where you have an mfa challenge have a great day